downward in a freezing earth is kind of a mysterious peace of mind in a way, um, combining electronics with live instruments. Um, and I think in this there's a sense that um, even though a lot of the times they're very unified, um, there isn't really an attempt to make the electronic sound world sound anything but strange, but electronic. And at times the instruments are trying to find meeting points to that world rather than the other way around. Um, in my own work, I suppose I'm very interested in a lot of the time combining electronic and acoustic forces. And I do that in this piece. This piece is very much inspired by wintry, icy, snowy landscape, um, especially the landscape of Alaska. And it's very much inspired by a poem by John Haynes called Listening in October. In the quiet house, a lamp is burning where the book of autumn lies open on a table. We sit without words, gazing past the limit of fire into the towering darkness. There are silences so deep you can hear the journeys of the soul. Enormous footsteps downward in a freezing earth. So that's where I got the title, Downward in a Freezing Earth. Um, in the piece, you'll hear a lot of icy sounds, especially from the violin, sometimes almost playing in this quite kind of ethereal, otherworldly way, sometimes maybe connecting to something almost supernatural at times, which I'm definitely interested in as well. Um, and also in this piece, there's a real sense of kind of unity of harmony between the electronic world and the acoustic, um, and then the sense of deviation or breaking away, so the instruments kind of start to break away from one another as the piece goes on. Um, and I suppose I'm thinking about expansive landscapes, I'm thinking of wideness, I'm thinking about something that's panoramic, and I'm often drawn to writing music in these places, whether it be Iceland or the Baltic Sea, um, these kind of very wide open landscapes seem to appeal to me and have been very inspiring to me in my own music. Um, in terms of what's coming up, um, I've just recently finished writing a piece for the brilliant Shannos singer Irla Ullenord um, with the National Symphony Orchestra of Ireland for performance at New Music Dublin Festival in April. And I've also recently finished work on a score um, for a film by the filmmaker Mark Cousins with Tilda Swinton. Um, and it's very much inspired by a painter called Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, who saw a glacier and it changed her life and it changed the way she thought about the world and she thought about art. So in some ways it is linked to this piece. The icy theme continues somehow. I'm very much looking forward to coming back to Sark. Um, and to Belfast and to working with the Hardwing Ensemble. So thank you.